Okay, so today I bought the version 6 of the excellent app Infuse. Infuse is a very cool and great video player for Apple devices. Devices like the iPhone, as you can see there, the iPad and Apple TV. This is an app that you can subscribe to, so it's subscription based, but uh, that is actually worth it. It cost me 105 Swedish crowns a year, so I think that's worth it because this app can play anything. It can play movies and TV shows and videos and so on from your NAS. It can play it from your uh, SMB uh, drives and so on. It can play it from your file server. It can play anything you have around you or in the cloud or anything. So I think that's great. And as you can see here, it says that uh, it can play every file format you can think of too. MQV, for example, Matroska, MP4 and all that. And it can stream from cloud services, Box, Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive and even iCloud on your Apple devices. And you can have some shares, for example, I have a Linux server and I have a lot of shares from that, so you can play those. You can play from Mac, PC, NAS and everything. So this app is very good to have, even if I have Plex and MB2. Plex is great, but not so great if you don't have a Plex Pass, because then you need to have uh, subtitles and so on so that work great without uh, downloading them, but uh, Infuse can actually download subtitles directly from the movie in that format you want and that language you want and so on. So I really, really like that. And it uh, organizes all your movies and TV shows and so on, uh, totally automatic. So that's also great. And uh, these features came as standard as you can see. Uh, so you don't need to buy the subscription, the pro version if you don't want, but then you can't uh, play your movies on uh, Apple TV or on a Chromecast or anything. So you only can play it on, for example, your iPhone. But as you can see, you can easily add subtitles from open subtitles. They are already available in a menu directly from Infuse. Works really, really good actually. So that's great and it syncs with Tracked if you want. Also nice. And you can connect your Plex library to Infuse too. So you have all your indexed movies and TV shows directly from Plex in Infuse. So if you have Infuse on your iPhone or your iPad for example, then you can Chromecast your movies and TV shows directly to your TV with subtitles and so on. Download subtitles directly from Infuse and play them on the TV. Even if you use the Plex libra library that needs a Plex pass to do the same with subtitles, downloading them and so on. Really nice. And it also supports UPnP DLNA, so you can play them directly on a Samsung TV, for example. Really nice. And you can, uh, of course, it supports uh, external uh, storage. So you can, for example, buy a Sandisk X-Band drive to your iPhone and have movies on. And uh, this app Infuse finds them and index them and all that. So that's really good. And these features you get with a subscription that I bought today. Uh, additional video formats, even more formats that you can play. And uh, it syncs all your library's playback progress and watched history and so on between your devices and apps and all that using iCloud. So I really like that. And you can have HD quality audio with this app, as you can see. Works nice and you can stream directly from cloud services. I can stream directly from iCloud for example if I want. And it supports AirPlay 2 and Google Cast with surround sound and subtitles. That works really great actually. And you get updates for life when you have a subscription. So you can get new versions all the time without bother 
by buying new big updates and so on so using a subscription you, you have updates for life and I like that too so the new features in Infuse 6 is that you can have your library libraries in the cloud and everything syncs between your devices and so on and uh, you have a really nice and modern playback core now so you can play 4k HDR films and so on easily and uh, you can have subtitles on demand as I said so you can choose your language and so on and uh, you have your subtitles totally ad free and all that from open subtitles works great and uh, you have the files app integration now apple's files manager you have infuse integrated directly to files app so you can have files stored there and organize them and so on you can add subtitles manually if you want and all that and airplay 2 for ios for example it supports that now and uh, a fresh new icon infuse 6 2019 as you can see and much much more and update the upgrade is totally free if you have a subscription you can use the app totally free too but without the, the pro features as i said before so this app i can highly recommend if you are an apple user as i said i also have plex and i have mb but uh, to me they don't work so good because you need to have a plex pass for plex that is very very expensive much more expensive than infuse to be able to download subtitles for example manually directly from the app and much more that plex is missing that infuse has and also the MB, you need to pay a subscription for MB to have it possible to play on your device and so on. Otherwise you can only Chromecast or, or so. But I decided to buy Infuse instead of a Plex Pass or an MB subscription because I really like the design of Infuse and all the features the player have in it and so on. You can do so much more in the app itself. So I really prefer to use this Infuse version 6. I will have a link down below to uh, this web page, as you can see here, if you are interested in Infuse 6. Okay, bye.